Okay, hey, dude, what's up? Um, sorry I haven't been around for a while. I've been busy with school and shit. But uh, today you're making a video on my most recent uh, trash picking finds. So uh, here they are. First, I'm gonna start out with this. This is uh, right now in a corner. Still has to be hooked up, but it's working. This is a Power Mac G5 quad processor um, computer. But it, it's been through World War. It's been through the World Wars. You can see with the fucking casing and everything. Um, does work. Does function properly. I'll open it up. I got two of these. I found two of these. One was a dual core model that didn't work. It had water damage from the processor. Oh, I have to mention this is liquid cooled. I'm cleaning my room right now, so I want to get as much shit out of here as possible, so I'm, this is still staying though. Uh, move the case. Let me get it off for you. Now this didn't come with the fan shield, so I had to modify the one from the dual core model to fit this one. I just cut out the fan hole, but as you can see it's the G5. Um, if you open that up, there's the graphics card. There's a 160 gig hard drive I put in. Stock DVD drive. I believe it has three or four gigs of RAM, and it is quad core water cooled, or quad processor water cooled, and it does work. Um, I'm not going to show you because right now I have my other trash bags find hooked up to it that I'm working on, but I don't keep shit unless it works. So you know that it works if I keep it. Or else I'd scrap it and throw it out. Um, here's my second trash picking find. This I will show you that it works. This is a compact Presario CQ50 laptop computer. Right here. Um, if I can find the charger for it, I'll show you that it works. Is it plugged in? Most likely not. Let's plug it in. I have to fix up my power in my room. It's all like jacked up. That's on. There. Boot it up to Windows. This is my DJing computer, so that's what I'm using for it now. It's got Windows 7 on it. For some reason, my is the power is it's not recognizing that it's plugged in for some reason. Oh, that's why. I plugged in the wrong power cable. There we go. Lights on. It's got NVIDIA graphics in it and everything. The case is a little chipped, so I glued that. Still got all the original labels on it. It had Vista on it. When I got it, it was completely stripped. And the screen was cracked, so I had to build it back up. And the, uh, this back part was cracked in half, so I bought a new back for it and got it working again. There you go. Shut this down. And then we'll move on to my next trash picking find. But yeah, that works. That I mean, I can't really do much with it anymore because the G5, even though it takes DDR2 RAM, it is a, a completely capable machine. It's just been forced into obsolescence by Apple. 
which is a sad thing. Let's, uh, my good luck. the fuck was that? Um, this is my keyboard that I used it. I had it hooked up to my TV, but it will be hooked up again soon. Here's my next trash picking find. This is a unknown brand computer, the slim type, with a V Pro Core 2 Duo. I think it was like 2.4 gigahertz or something. Uh, I think I got like either one or two gigs of RAM in here. It works. I was going to use this as a media center PC for my dad's house, for my TV. So that's still a work in progress. I got to get a graphics card for it to make it able to play games. Here's okay, this is a compact, sorry, yeah, SR 2020NX. 80 gig hard drive that I put in. Uh, 512 megs of RAM. It's got ATI or NVIDIA graphics built in onboard chipset running Windows XP. As you can see, my disk somehow went back up and now it wants me to install Windows again, which I'm not going to do. Um, we'll move the next trash picking finds out of the way to get to an item that's going to cause more controversy as my last one did. This is another Xbox 360 Elite that I got. Um, it is trash picked, so all of you that don't think it's trash picked can uh, fuck off. Because there's mine right there. That's my Xbox. And those are the white ones are all the other trash picked ones. This one had E74. I used my uh, blowtorch, or my mic micro torch. Heat gunned the GPU, and now it works fine. So it didn't come with a hard drive, so I just have a 60 gig gray one hooked up to it. Um. So yeah, that's, that's that. And then here's the best out of all of them. And I can't believe someone threw this out still. I've had it for about a couple months. So here it is. This is a Dell Studio XPS 8000 or 800. I forget the model number of it. Um, now, we'll bleep out one of the stickers. As you can see, it said Windows 7. So I was like, alright, that's all I'm good. It's probably a dual core nice and powerful computer but then I looked at the uh, thing and when I got this this thing was all gutted so this is what I thought when I saw this I was like okay this is pretty cool it has a core i7 in it and I was like yeah that's gone the guy definitely took it out but the processor believe it or not was still in here it turns out to be a quad core core i7 with DDR3 RAM I think I have four gigs in it right now that I bought off of eBay for 20 bucks I'm just giving me my, my new Shorehouse computer. What the fuck is that? Oh, the yeah, thing. This is giving me my new Shorehouse computer. It's got nothing too special in it right now, except the four gigs of RAM. But it's got this the wireless card. I got to find the antennas for still. I lost. That didn't come with those. This is just a shitty graphics card I have in here right now to test it with. 7.1 channel audio, gigabit Ethernet, four USB ports, FireWire, eSATA, and uh, SPDIF high definition audio out. Now this one does work as well. It has Windows 7 Ultimate on it that I put on. So, and it works great. The only thing I had to buy for it was the RAM which was 20 bucks and the DVD drive which was 20 bucks. Because this thing when I got it was completely, I had to go digging through to find the uh, parts for it. But I put it back together and when I got it also the USB, no USB ports were working. For some, for some odd reason, so I thought it was like a failed BIOS update or something. So I went in, I cleared the uh, CMOS with the little, I jumped the jumper on it, and USB ports are working. So, uh, yeah, that's my most recent trash picking finds. Got some new computers to screw around with, and hopefully I get more. So, peace out. To add, one more other computer I forgot to add was this one. Um, I just put that in here. This is the this is a gateway computer. It's got Windows 7 on it and a Pentium D processor. I think it's 3 gigahertz or 2.6 gigahertz, one or the other. Onboard ATI graphics, and it's got a gig of RAM. Nothing special, but it works. So that's another one I trash picked. So that's it for now. Peace out.